facing new trouble for comments he made about writer E. Jean Carroll on national television. Just one day after being found liable for sexual abuse and defamation and ordered to pay $5 million in damages. Tonight, Ms. Carroll is seeking in Manhattan Federal Court a, quote, very substantial additional amount of damages in response to Donald Trump's comments on CNN. The filing says tonight that she should be awarded these damages to, quote, punish Trump, to deter him from engaging in further defamation and to deter others from doing the same. George Conway is a conservative attorney and former Republican. He joins me now. George, let me start on the E. Jean Carroll news. I know you had talked to her at some point about the case. You were, you were, you were invoked in closing arguments as a, a sort of boogeyman that was behind the whole thing. Um, it seemed eminently predictable that CNN was going to be hosting defamation when they had him on the day after this. He, he then proceeded to say things about her that are very similar to what he said that got him uh, found guilty of defamation. Um, do you think this is a strong case and what's it mean? Well, I think it, she has a strong case for adding those punitive damages claims to her prior complaint. The, the complaint that, they're, that she's amending this time was actually the original complaint from the first lawsuit suit that Jean brought in 2019 when President Trump, as president, from the bully pulpit of the right. Oval Office, denied uh, that anything ever happened at Bergdorf Gordman and basically accused Jean of being a liar. And she got $3 million for the second libel that right. occurred in 2022 when he was dumb enough to repeat right. the first libel. And in this time, he wasn't president, so he didn't have this legal argument because that's, that's why right. the first case went off off on a, on a wild goose chase in the appellate courts. But now it's come back. He's he's now that's that case already had more damages potentially than the case that she already won than the three million she already won because he was president at the time. It was the first the very, very first libel that he he he, he made on Lee, on Gene Carroll. And now the fact that he has repeated the libel after being found to have sexually abused her and libeled her is is really, really, it's, it's outrageous and it, it's supportive of punitive damages. This verdict could be greater than the $5 million that she got in the first case. And I, oh, frankly, I hope she, it, it is because I think at some point he's got to stop lying about this and stop, stop well, libeling her. I mean, you know, I, I don't know how many times are we gonna have to go through this? Well, and this is interesting. Trump's attorney response is Ms. Carroll's 11th hour attempt to amend her complaint exposes the true motivation behind her numerous lawsuits. And it's like, yes, the true motivation is to get him to stop defaming her. I think yes. it's pretty, it's, it's pretty right. clear. And like, it's yes. Simple.